Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Rupesh. Hope you are doing perfectly well. So what are we going to talk about today? So we are doing uh, another interesting session on Elasticsearch APM monitoring, a full stack monitoring uh, tool. Uh, a new session altogether where we have not done used the SaaS based Elasticsearch offering. So let's do that quickly today to understand how we can monitor the Kubernetes single load cluster that is already there on my machine you know it's a k3d based cluster so we'll be monitoring the cluster with the help of elastic search cloud based you know uh, sas right software as a service so let's create account we have already done a lot of sessions on elastic search hosting everything at our site but today we are using the elastic search cloud pattern right cloud based offering so this is how you need to give a legitimate email ID and then it you can get your uh, Elasticsearch free cloud account pretty quickly. Okay, and then it will ask a few basic things like, you know, your name, right? And then you can say simply any company, right? I have some experience with Elasticsearch. Mm, yeah. Now, now there are three options that you need to select. So which use case you're trying to do it first. So definitely I'm not doing anything ML related use case or API related use case. I want to do the APM related related use case, right? A proper Asari related. So I will go with this. Like, and where you want, where you want to, you know, like your data to be stored. I want to use the same GCP cloud. That is fine. They are at least giving an option. Another monitoring tool like uh, Grafana, New Relic, they don't give an option of how, where you want to store the data. Now they are setting up your environment, uh, basically a cloud environment for Elasticsearch. And then uh, quickly once you have it, then we will configure this Elasticsearch environment from your Kubernetes cluster and will enable the monitoring, right? So whatever I'll do, I'll be creating the uh, GitHub page for that so that you can quickly, uh, you know, mimic the same thing in your environment so it was quick so we have your uh, the elastic search free account now and we will be all sending all the uh, important infrastructure data from our cluster i'll click on this infrastructure okay uh, simply let me click on the add data so that i can add my data i have a kubernetes single node cluster now there are two options either i should install elastic agent and get my logs and matrices matrices which is the primitive method or i should install the open telemetry way which is the way forward which is the which is the future right so let me select this option right and then uh, i'll add this repo for open telemetry correct and before i install this open telemetry operator now what is the open telemetry operator we have talked about another different, different periods it's an operator that will install the helm chart and it will do the auto instrumentation of your application pertaining to that namespace right so what we are doing we are creating a namespace called this we are creating a secret where we have the elastic endpoint which is nothing but this endpoint okay right and then we have elastic api key which is responsible for sending the data to this uh, cloud of elastic full stack monitoring and then we'll install this helm chart finally and these are the values that we need to pass so these are the values which will, you know, responsible for installing the Helm chart and this is the version that we are installing, right? So pretty simple. I'll go and hit this button. So now it will install the, it will create the namespace and then it will create the secret which will be used in the Helm chart and then it will simply install the Helm chart, right? Now, what kind of application you want to instrument? Suppose I want to instrument Java based application and then what are the things that you need to do? There are two options. Either I can annotate my specific pods with these labels or I can annotate the complete namespace, which is a pretty easy and straightforward thing. So I will annotate my namespace. So suppose I have all my applications installed in my particular namespace. So I will simply go back and then modify this command a bit. Okay, let me go back. Now I'm annotating uh, my namespace instead of my namespace. I will give the namespace where I have my Java related application. Correct. Perfect. 
now let me go back the helm chart is installed um, okay so it has installed in different namespace yes pns open telemetry system yeah hl now you have the helm list kgp all pods are running perfect now what i'll do i'll just simply go ahead and annotate this matrix namespace because i have a pet clinic application which is running a on this namespace i want to annotate this namespace with auto instrumentation right now this namespace is annotated so meaning this instrumentation of output telemetry inject java will get injected in all the uh, services which are there in this namespace perfect now let me go back to the no documentation yeah i want to really uh, restart the deployment where i have in i have my application in that namespace so what i'll do i'll simply come back here kgp i'll delete the pod of the pet clinic right so that it should take the uh, latest instance of and then it will not do the auto instrumentation right and so since i was having two replicas i am deleted both the replicas okay i'll do kgp now my pods are being restarted perfect now anything else we need to do now we need to simply visualize the data so i uh, click on this now since helm chart is installed so ideally it should take the data from my cluster and it should split the data especially the metrics and logs to this uh, elastic search cloud environment right so since this is loading let me go back and then show you how we can draw how we can check whether the metrics and logs are coming directly into elastic search you know directly so how we can do that you can simply come here and then discover discover is nothing but similar to explode action in grafana where you can check whether the logs and matrices are coming so i can see the log uh, uh, you know the index is giving all the logs for you right you today is 19th april in the evening yeah and there are certain the metrics index also so i'm getting the relevant matrices also now on what principle it is working it is working on the open telemetry principle i'll just show you in a while let me just quickly see whether the dashboard has been refreshed yeah dashboard has been refreshed you can see one node six namespaces and the uh, cpu intensive nodes all important matrices are coming you can see cpu memory and uh, container and everything right so this is all infrastructure data that is coming which is okay now let me go back to the overview right let me do some hit on my uh, the application the pet clinic application the pet clinic application is this one which should be uh, running i'm doing a port port forwarding okay now pet clinic application is coming up now i'll do generate certain hits i'll generate hit certain errors now i have not done any manual instrumentation from my side so auto instrumentation has been happened from uh, uh, from that you know open telemetry helm that has been installed so let me uh, go back and then see the infrastructure uh, the click on host okay we can uh, i'm just now exploring all the things that are there in elastic such okay so you can simply go ahead from these matrices are there you know matrices are coming right the logs are also coming you can see uh, you can check the logs in discover also uh, let me go back yeah we have already seen the dashboard you already seen it now let me show you the the application which is the important part right auto instrumentation the open telemetry auto instrumentation right so i'll come down now you see pet clinic this is the one which got auto instrumented did i did anything to create or generate uh, the data no it was already done automatically with the help of the open telemetry helm chart and then the data was sent to this you know uh, pet clinic application uh, space in your you can see latency throughput uh, transactions failed transactions range all the transactions and you can see the dependencies you can see the errors right and uh, see it is giving you you properly that what are the technology that has it is a spring boot pet clinic of java applications open telemetry and the kubernetes right matrices and even we can see the logs also right 
so let me click on the logs matrices are there right see cpu said memory usage all these are automatically that are coming heap memory loaded classes let me show you the logs of this application right logs of this applications are also getting loaded everything is auto instrumented surveillance map is also coming and this is the this is a very simple application hitting into a database which is i think postgres at the behind right logs we have seen alerts we have seen now one important thing which i want to show you uh, you can get the matrix explorer also uh, for any matrices from here so what are the important uh, parameters or what are the important i you know i would say items which we need to uh, see in this elastic search discover we can check the matrix and logs and discover section right and then we can check the dashboard we can I uh, have already have the application monitoring also now okay now let's see the very very important thing what has actually it has done right we have not done any magic so we have installed a, a open telemetry helm chart right so let's go back to that helm chart and what it is doing hl let me go back to this section yeah uh, hl helm list helm get values Okay, so let me do a, a YAML file so that we can quickly see dot the underscore uh, values dot YAML file, right? Let's see what it is, you know, doing or let me open this in the VS code. Let's see the Let's open this folder into a VS code. Then we'll see what is this values.yaml file that has been passed from this Helm chart. This is open telemetry Helm chart provided by your uh, open uh, Elasticsearch. Now you see, uh, we have supplied this collector. This collector is actually collecting the data from application, right? And this is an open telemetry collector running on port number 4317. Correct, this is the processors, right? And they are the receivers. In this service now this is, there are three pipelines it is all open telemetry based right so blocks and matrices pipeline are there which is actually taking the uh, matrices from otlp gateway processing it and see setting it to kts cluster right and then this is the exporter these are the processors right and what else so yeah uh, this is the agent hotel i'm just trying to explain the uh, the Helm chart details that it they have installed with that Helm chart. Okay, now this is all only about uh, values that Elastic API key, which is coming from a secret, right? And endpoint is coming from a secret. Yeah, you you know that we installed one secret at the starting point. So k okay, get secret right minus o yaml. So this secret we installed. So it is actually API key and the endpoint where the data should flow, right? so this is where it is coming right and this is the endpoint right let me do one more thing so you should understand what we're doing helm get manifest manifest okay uh, and i should give you this thing i'll be committing these files so that you can see what is happening when you install this so we should understand what we are installing right so okay Right. So I am getting the manifest of that Helm chart into a single file and this is the biggest file. Okay, now you see first of all service account is there, this service account which will uh, be installed in this namespace and then we have service account, another delete resources, cluster role which we are scanning these resources. We should have these access, create, delete, get list, patch, update and watch. Right and then we should have a cluster role binding all these cluster role another cluster role cluster role let's see i want to show you the uh, deployment specifically let me just quickly go to that section right cluster role bindings for bindings yeah this is the role role winding role winding service service deployment yeah this is deployment and uh yeah this is the name this is the name of the deployment 
so potentially they are uh, start initiating one pod and uh, the image is coming from this uh, so they are potentially pulling this open telemetry operator image right interestingly so they are doing the elastic instrumentation giving it instrumentation name and then uh, yeah you will get the same documentation when you do the open telemetry dot io page so the selling chart is pushing actually these creating these images and then uh, you know pushing that instrumentation right so they are actually uh, using the same open telemetry concept but doing the flavor of their tool right open uh, elastic agent is doing that flavor correct yeah so that is uh, pretty much i'll commit these two files so that you can understand what is happening when you install that helm chart and it is giving a very straightforward monitoring for your applications uh, directly uh, into your uh, elastic search cloud based uh, url and you get everything you get uh, the traces also you get your uh, you get all the traces see whatever traces are coming with the help of that single installation it is, it is all open telemetry based installation that they are doing right so and you can get all the other details correct service map is also coming so which is a good sign so i think let's wrap up this uh, video uh, we'll catch up again with some uh, why i took this video because it is, has open telemetry flavor of elastic and every monitoring tool is now using open telemetry flavor so that is the reason so i want to take a pause uh, beautiful screen uh, you know and the stop so yeah uh, if you have any doubts and queries please put down in the comment section comment section and uh, please do not forget to like subscribe the channel so that you can get hundreds of videos for any to open telemetry grafana and all that other monitoring tools and cloud related concept so stay tuned goodbye for now thank you